So today we're starting out the video over here on Scorched Earth. I'm basically here because I need lots and lots of cactus sap and sand. Now, I know I can gather these things on Val. They're just not as common as they are over here. So that's why I figured I'd come over here, spend just a few minutes collecting probably 10 times more than I could actually end up finding over on Val. Um, so I've got my Carcanos and I've got my Dodex for the sand. And right here, we've been collecting up just tons and tons of cactus sap. I mean, so easy to do. Now, probably not the best creature to actually be doing this on, but this thing has a lot of weight. So I figured I'd do it anyway. Um, I, I know there's, I think maybe, what is the best creature for Cactus Sap? I know Wyvern's pretty good. Um, I feel like I have something else that's also really good and I can't remember. I feel like my Iguanodon maybe, yeah. Iguanodon's pretty good for it as well. But, uh, Mammoth is, it's pretty good and we've got a lot of weight on this thing. This is my weighty boy. He's got a nice little hat. Hope you guys like the hat. I really like it. Anyway, so yeah, I'm basically here just to collect up all this stuff. We're gonna bring it all back and craft up a crap ton of adobe because we're building something here today. It's been a little while since we built something. I feel like the last time we built something was maybe Eggfall, or I guess technically it would have been over on Genesis, our little Genesis base, which by the way, we will be continuing over there at some point. I just kind of wanted to take another trip back to Val and just kind of build up some more things around the area. Uh, these little pockets right here where the cactus is on the ground is great. You get tons of it from here. Um, so yeah, basically, yeah, that's, that's the plan here today. We're gonna just uh, probably stop gathering the sap here in a few minutes because we've already got like two full rows, which is, what is that? Like, that's like 24,000? That's tons. We Maybe let's go for 30,000 and then stop. How much does this even weigh? Oh my God, that's gonna be a pain to bring back. Anyway, um, yeah, so... <laughs> Guys, go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Uh, we're probably also going to do some other things here today. We're not just going to be building a little farm thing, um, which you guys have probably already seen from the thumbnail. I can't help myself. I need to show these things off. That's the main purpose of the video. You need to have a nice thumbnail. Oh, man. All right. Well, anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes, and I'll give you an update on how much stuff I'm bringing back because it's definitely going to be a lot. Let's just drop all these berries. All right. So we basically have 48,000 sap this is honestly ridiculous i want to put out a reminder that my gather rates on here are not super increased in any way i mean like they're slightly increased i think they might be like two times which is the old four times which is the super old eight times but you know what let's not get into that territory anyway yeah so <laughs> that's a crap ton maybe let's drop that and make it just a satisfying 48,000. we've also got just a ton of narco berries and a couple of these y seeds because why not uh, all right, so next up we need some sand, which is super easy to get. We're just gonna use our Carcanos and then chuck out the two Dodex and pick them up and just automatically walk around and do this. Hopefully we can get a ton of it from here. Um, I think all the rocks over here give it, right? I'm pretty sure they do. All right, well, they're already starting to swing at things. So I'm just gonna walk around, probably gather up roughly, I don't, I don't know how much sand we're gonna be leaving here with, but a lot. I'm gonna obviously bring back Almost enough to turn all of this stuff into adobe, or clay, I guess, and then adobe. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a really, really crazy crafting grind we're gonna have after this. Oh my god. Okay, so I've only been collecting for like two minutes and they already have tons. They just stopped swinging at things, so I figured that they were probably full. I guess we could maybe just put all that sand onto the mammoth? Let's do that then. Um, alright, sand. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. Can we even put all this on here? Yeah, we can. Oh my god, weighty boy. You're so good. You're so weighty. All right, so that is the last of the sand. That is just lots. I mean, wow. Okay, so this row here is 30k, 60k, 90k. Uh, yeah, we, we have we have enough. We almost, we have like over 100,000. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> Oh my god. We gotta put all this stuff into there or else uh, I guess I could just drop all those in the ground, pick them up, and then just still transfer. I guess that could work. All right, let me pick you up then, bud. And there we go. Let's see. Ooh, can I access it, please? Thank you. Um, so yeah, we have the 48K and the other stuff. This is ridiculous. Like, this is so much. I don't need to put this in here, though. I'm just going to travel like this. Wow. Okay. Let's get going then. Okay, so we're getting down to the last few crafts, and we are done. Now, in case you're wondering... I actually did have just a little bit of extra cactus sap back here. So I threw that in because we had extra sand. And uh, this is basically how much we got. So let's just pull that out. So that is 60,000, 120,000, 150, 156,000. That's, that's a lot, obviously. 
Uh, let's just eat these last three pieces because why not? Uh, we have tons of uh, stone here as well. I'll just chuck this in here because I'll probably end up using that uh, for some more um, cementing or yeah, cementing paste or else I guess freaking uh, spark better at some point but yeah we have just tons of this stuff for now um another easy way that i could have probably got just a buckets of this is by taming gotchas which we will be doing soon don't don't worry we're gonna get to that at some point soon but um yeah for the moment i just uh i just wanted to go ahead and just craft it that way because i mean to be honest that was like what half an hour worth of work and that wasn't really that difficult to do so you know what? Figured this would be a lot easier than, you know, rushing to tame gotchas just to get all that stuff done. Anyway, um, so now we got to actually plan out the building. I already have some ideas, but I need to obviously be crafting all the adobe that I'm going to need. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to build it. That's one thing. I know what it's going to look like. Uh, not sure exactly how many pieces we're going to need, and I'm not exactly sure of the location, but... I will figure that stuff out after I grab Night Owl because I left Night Owl and all my other stuff back here. All right, so here is where we're going to be building our little garden. It's right outside of the entrance to my castle, and it was a massive flat spot. I figured we might as well put it here. I mean, there's no point of putting it somewhere out there, somewhere where it potentially could be broken because it's going to be mostly made out of glass and adobe, which I think both of those things can be broken by creatures or Bronto tail swings. So I don't necessarily want a ton of turrets outside of it. So this is an ideal spot. Let's get going with the build, though. Uh, so what we're going to have to do, first of all, is just place down the entrance. We're going to have to place a lot of temporary things, like all this glass will be temporary. And then from there, I have to go ahead remove all these foundations and then i can oh i meant to actually remove that one too and then what i can do is i can place a adobe wall coming down from there into the ground like that um so for the actual doorway itself we're going to just remove these and then we're going to put a double door like that and uh and then eventually we're going to have to take these away after like i said they're temporary um we're just going to use those obviously because i don't really want to craft just a crap ton of wooden walls when i don't really need to um, then we're going to turn these railings into half walls, which is an S plus setting. And then on top of that, we are going to put the glass. So essentially it's going to kind of look like this from the outside. Um, and then on the inside, obviously we don't have those foundations there. So it's nice and wide and open and I think it's going to look great. So let me get some of this done, at least like the whole outside ring. And then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right. So here it is, as you can see, I think it looks pretty good so far. We basically just got to fill the inside now and obviously build up the wall on the outside just a little bit. Maybe pop in some pillars to add in some actual structure to it. Uh, let's chuck those back into here. So what we're going to be using is the seamless crop plots. We can actually place some down in the center here. So these are really cool. They're from S plus obviously, and they're basically here. Let me, let me get a couple of them down and then I'll show you exactly what they do. So they obviously snap to the, the little foundations right now. And we're just going to place these. Ooh, the hell my mouse flew off the screen. Why does that happen? I felt like that stopped happening. And then recently it just started happening again. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. So we're going to have to... Which one am I on right now? Am I on this one here? Okay, hang on. So I need it to be one side and I want the outside and the inside. So I guess two sides like that. Okay, so it's going to look a little bit better once I get a couple of these done. So this one needs to just be one side and it needs to be the outside. So for this one, is it C? There we go. Cool. So essentially what you could do is, and it's kind of annoying because we're getting like the weird glow from the S plus gun. Uh, essentially what you could do is you can kind of shape them just a little bit. So let me show you like that. Let's just switch all these ones and then it's going to probably come together just a little bit more. I guess what we could do is we could just copy that and then paste these settings onto the other ones here. And then I guess I can just copy this one. And then paste the settings like, oh, no, yeah, of course. Okay, I had a feeling that might happen, so that's why I didn't initially do that. Some of them are the same, but it's just the way that it was placed. So this one here is just slightly placed differently, meaning that it was just snapped in a different way. Uh, there we go. So for this one, it's B. So that's what we have. Unfortunately, we have the weird glow. There we go. So we have like a cool little like center garden part here, and we're going to plant some stuff there. The plan is for this whole area is to just kind of have like these little stretches of plants like that. So we come in from here and I kind of want it to, I want to be allowed to like walk right into the center from here. So we're going to have the gardens kind of stretch off from the center bit. 
uh, that I'm walking into here. And maybe, I don't know if they're going to fully loop around or whatever, but we need to basically just get some more foundations down. So let me try to work on that just a little bit and kind of map things out. Um, I have kind of like a rough map in my head, but trying to actually just get that done on cam and like figure it all out can be just a little bit difficult. So let me just kind of work my way back towards this way here. Um, so we want it to be like so. So maybe let's leave like a little bit of a gap on the outside. Um, yeah, I guess we could probably go from here maybe. Okay, so this is what I'm kind of thinking. Um, so we kind of like walk in from here. We have this nice like open area. We're going to have gardens. Wherever you see foundations here, we're going to have like little crop plots kind of going along those areas. Maybe I'll encase them as well by putting down some railings. I think I should be able to do that. So that's kind of like the outside layer. I want one more layer and then I want this inner layer. So I'm thinking maybe let's come from... I'm basically going to have to like build in like this so like that and then oh no that's not where i wanted that let me pick that one back up like this so let me just pick these up if we place that there and that there then we can kind of like almost mirror this like outside thing that we're doing except from right here so let me show you what i mean this is, might be kind of confusing to understand because i really feel like i'm not doing a great way of like i'm not doing a great job of explaining it but let me just kind of show you. So we're going to do it like this. We don't have enough triangle foundations right now. So let me just pick that one up. So you can kind of see what pattern I'm kind of going with here. Um, and then I like this like big open inside part. Although it might be nice to kind of have a bigger gap between these two. Hmm. If we do that, then what gap are we going to have here? That's one, two, three. Hmm. Don't know if I want it like that. You know what? I think we're good with the way that we have it right now. It might not look as good in the end, though. I don't really know. Now I'm kind of getting a little bit uh, sidetracked with trying to plan this out. I have, like, the whole idea in my head, but it's just trying to actually, like, get it out and make it look good. That's another story. Okay, so here's what we got. I'm kind of thinking of taking away these. So when you walk in, it kind of like opens up instead of encloses down. I think that's actually going to make it look a lot better. Let me just remove all of those and then we'll take a look. All right, let's see. We have like weird highlights from this S plus uh, structure gun. I, for some reason, it just highlights everything. To be honest, I'm not even a massive fan of that. I kind of wish I could turn that off. Um, but yeah, here's what we got. Not 100% sure about that. Seriously doubting whether or not that's that looks good. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I think it looks okay. I think it could look a lot better, though. Maybe what we could do is we can put some extra stuff onto the inside here, like some uh, compost bins and some stuff like that, just to kind of, like, add more to it. Um, maybe as well with this, we could just fill in the center as well. Like, we don't have to have this hollow. I feel like that would probably look good. Or maybe we could build that up. Oh, that would look better. Yeah, I should build up the center with, like, the foundations and just kind of stack walls or something on top. Um, all right. So I think that I'm happy with the foundation placement for the moment. That is where wherever you see a foundation, like I said, you're going to have a crop plot. Um, so, yeah, we got we to gotta fill those in. That's quite a lot of crop plots, though, and that's going to be so expensive to craft. I wonder if I have enough materials to do all that because they are seriously expensive. So let me try and like roughly count these. So if I'm correct, we need 42 and 30. So 72 triangle ones. And then what is that? 72 triangle ones and then 12 of these square ones. Oh my God. Uh, let me actually just do seam. There we go. Oh wait, no, it's, it's spelled the other way. Oof. All right, there we go. So we, we need 12 of these. Let's get those ones grafted first. Boom. Well, I think we already have some of those, actually. Oh, I have an extra one. Damn it. All right, whatever. It's fine. And then we needed 72 of these. So then I don't actually need that many. I need 66. We have enough for... Oh, wait, no. Okay, no. I did have enough. It's just that it only pulled for 56 because I clearly had enough materials in here for the rest of them. So I have enough for all of these. That's good. Um, like this stuff is pretty freaking expensive to make. I'm sure everybody who's ever made like just tons and tons of crop plots knows. But uh, 
Yeah, so obviously with this type of shape like this, we're going to have just the outside appearing. So any lines, lines that you see going across this way are all going to be hidden. Um, and then pretty much the same for this one, except we're going to have the square as the outside part for these. All right, so I did a little bit of off-cam mining, and here is what we've got. Um, yeah, I basically just kind of built this up a little bit. I was kind of like toying with some ideas, and initially my plan was to actually enclose this thing with a roof, but... I'm kind of thinking just leaving it open like this would be a whole lot better. I, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think about this? I honestly kind of think it might be a little bit better having it, like, nice and open or something like that. That way, you know, it's less of an actual gigantic greenhouse and more of an actual garden, which is what I'm going for here. So, as you can see, we have, uh, in each little section, we have tons of crop plots. And I've already put in the seeds. I just don't have any fertilizer in here. So, this one over here is citronol. Uh, I think over here we have long grass. And then it gets into berries over here. I think this one might be... Yeah, this one's narco berry. And then the other two crops are back here. And then over here, I think I also planted narco berry. Or is it... Yeah, no, it's Maggio over here. And then in each of these little sections, we have six of these. So I went ahead and just planted um, the different, like, plants into these parts. Although, to be honest, I probably should have put the narco berries in front of where I have the narco berries over there. But I guess it doesn't make a difference. So yeah, we just got all like the different types of berries in these ones right here. And uh, then we got some beer barrels and I've already actually went ahead and, and chucked in all the stuff and made just a little bit of beer because we actually gonna, we're actually going to need that stuff to power up this little S plus thing. Yeah, you're the one that requires beer. The other one requires Kaylee and soup. Um, basically, this thing is going to grab out all of the crops and everything and just kind of manage them. And then this one here is going to be powered by Kaylean soup and then this one basically um distributes kind of like poop uh, into dung beetles and puts the fertilizer into the crop lots and everything and then this one here picks up poop and stuff like that yeah there's just like a lot of little s plus things that i like to kind of have around so basically yeah we needed the beer for that and then also maybe some chalet taming or calico whatever the way you want to pronounce it i uh, i feel like we should get those at some point soon those might actually be really fun to use um, I don't know what for exactly, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway, one thing I wanted to quickly do here was show you a little idea that I have for the center part here. So let's uh, let's just get straight into this. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a crop plot completely upside down. And let me show you how you do that. If I can get the proper snap point, that would be fantastic. Oh, I had it. I had it. Oh. There, there we go. That's where I want it. Sweet. So to get things to go upside down, you can only do this with S plus with the, uh, if you have the structure thingy, so you don't require foundation support. If I could get, there we go. So basically what you do is you put a ceiling, then you put the, uh, like little sloped roof thing or sloped wall upside down. Then you take away the ceiling and then it's probably easier if you just, if you just use something like a wooden one, cause the Adobe ones are kind of hard to tell. Uh, you know the different sides or whatever but as you can see I placed that upside down and I could place a crop plot there now I'm not gonna be placing that right now because I actually want it to be an Adobe one let me get up there god damn it and then let's put this away uh, the Adobe is on five okay I don't know if that's upside down or not okay it might take me a minute to kind of figure out which sides the upside down one but basically yeah that's what we're gonna do uh, let me just get this done then uh, oh my god such a nightmare Ooh, I think no, I don't think that's right. Yeah, no. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so then right there, we're going to actually be planting a, uh, a plant species X into that. And we're going to have six of those going around this thing. And then the center of this is going to actually slope up. So what we got to do next is we got to basically... Ooh, oh, God, don't move around too much, Mr. Tape Jar. Uh, got to basically... Can I get that snap point? Oh my god. There he- Oh, I had it! God damn it! You know what I mean, though. We're basically gonna put a sloped, uh, roof right there, and then we're gonna have, uh, these things up in the very center. No, I hit the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, this is the one I was looking for. We're gonna have these up at the top, kind of peeking up. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna get it done. It's so frustrating to build sometimes. I kind of just wish we had the tech suit already. Alright, so I got all these up. Now we just gotta put these seeds into it. Um, why, why can't I access this? No, I should be able to access it. Why can't I access this? 
Hang on. What? No! Ah, oh, am I... I mean, I, I know how to get it in there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why does that make me laugh? All right, whatever. Uh, there, there's another way I can get those into there. Let's see. Um, I need to use this. I don't want to use the advanced, uh, the advanced transfer thing because that's gonna end up putting them into like random ones around here. There we go. That works, right? Uh, okay. What the hell's happening? Well, I tried to access your inventory. It wouldn't allow me. All right, whatever. So yeah, we could basically get them in by just using this. Boom. And then drop another one in. And I don't think I have to redo the source. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. So this is the way I'm going to be able to do this. Um, that was kind of weird, though. I got a little bit worried there for a second. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Um, which ones have I not put them into? Uh, ooh, did I do that one? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> All right. There we go. And then the last one. Boom. Uh, I think, at least. All right, cool. Well, anyway, uh, now we just need to get a crap ton of fertilizer. And also, those need to be irrigated, I would say. I don't think they're picking up water from anything. Actually, these aren't even irrigated either. I need to get more pipes onto the inside here. I could probably just run them from right here, though, or something like that. And then maybe that might stretch up and hit those ones, too. I don't know exactly, but yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an issue for five minutes from now uh let's see all right so basically yeah this this is what the little center bit looks like i feel like maybe extending it down and like putting triangle pieces between the the little ceilings here um that could be an option we could do that to make it look less kind of weird and and strange looking uh i thought we were like fully gonna clip right through that for a second but uh yeah i, I think this is looking pretty good so far we definitely need to clean it up just a little bit and make it look a little bit better but i don't know i'm pretty happy with this anyway we need dung beetles we need snails something else is we're going we're also gonna need something else i can think of right now uh yeah we need a couple things to finish off this little build so let's get working on those all right so we're over here on ragnarok now i figured this was a better map to come to uh for dung beetles snails and maybe also a fiomia as well if i can find a good level one uh, but yeah, we have a 168 snail down here. We're just gonna go down and grab that, and then I want to go ahead and bring it back up here and tame it. Although, I'm kind of thinking maybe there might be a couple good snails down here, so we... Maybe what we can do is we can bring them up and then start taming them. Oh, no, 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 no! That's my snail. Oh, I didn't mean to grab you. Alright, wait, can I bite you? There we go, sweet! Sometimes you can't actually bite whatever's in the wyvern's claws. There we go, alright. 168 snail acquired. Let's just bring it up here and just... I mean, is this safe? Pretty safe. Yeah, you can just stay right there. Don't fall off the cliff, please. Awesome. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to look around for a couple more snails. Is that one? No, that's a frog. Okay. I need to learn the difference. Let's see. Uh, definitely really happy with the electronic binoculars that we got from the little Genesis uh, loot crate thingy. But not a big fan of the fact that I can't use them on the majority of creatures. You can only use them off the back of creatures that you can pull normal weapons out on. So that really limits the amount of creatures that they actually work with. So kind of still need a spyglass all the time. Let's see, level 30. Just go ahead and kill this one. I want high levels because obviously that means that their stats are going to be better. Like, you know, their food stats going to be better, especially... Uh, because obviously I don't want these things to potentially starve and let's go ahead and kill this cap route. There we go uh, But generally I probably actually don't need the highest level snails around uh, There's one or is that a rock? Uh, that is a 174. Okay, I'll grab that one I'm not sure how many I want to tame though. They're not breedable. So that kind of makes it difficult we Hmm, we could probably maybe go for like four in total. What level is that one? Maybe like four decent level snails to high level snails. That could be good. Let's see, where did I dump that other one? I think it's... Is that it right ahead of us there? Is that it? No, that's a rock. Uh, no, there it is. Okay, I was looking at the rock directly behind me right there. Uh, so yeah, we've got two snails so far. Let's see. Any more? Um, 114. 162. Okay, I'll grab that one. Sweet. All right, now we just need maybe like one more snail and then we're good. I'm just gonna have these guys and dung beetles just, you know, 
wandering around our little garden thing because I'm going to keep the door shut so things can't get in and kill them. So that's going to be great. I think it's going to look really nice though, like just having a bunch of creatures kind of wandering around the place. Sweet. So one more to go and then we can start taming. All right. So we're just knocking these dudes out. Uh, two more to go. Uh, one Jade's out and then the 180. Hello. And you're out. Sweet. Oh my God. So satisfying. Uh, it took a couple darts to actually get this this one properly knocked out. Um, now, these things take ages to tame. I hate taming snails. It's the worst. Like, they're so expensive to tame, but then they're also, like, super slow to tame. Because I think it needs to drop down by 250 for it to actually eat. So, it's going to take a little bit. Plus, their torpor just drops down by an absolute ton all the time. Let's just pop in a couple of those for the moment. Um, but we can get them all up on the little taming uh, list thing. I'm still waiting on Ark to maybe add in like a shortcut, like a keyboard shortcut to open up that little uh, menu. That would be great. You know, Wildcard, if you're listening, that would be fantastic. I'd love that. Maybe that's already in. Um, and, and I just don't know about it. I don't believe it is, but yeah, I don't know. Just like hitting a button on my keyboard to open that up would be very, very nice. Wildcard, thank you very much. Uh, all right, so yeah, we just gotta we gotta wait for these dudes. This one, they, they all seem to actually be drained down by a ton already. Interesting. All right, well maybe it's not as slow as I remember. Hey, we got it. Nice. That's the last snail that we needed. All righty, let me go ahead and put you away. I don't really care too much about the stats on the snails, but let's see if we got an OP one. Wow, the 180 came out with so much stamina, 51 points. That's really good for a snail. Super good for a creature that you can't ride on. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, you know what? Not really too fussed with the stats. I mean, it's actually kind of funny, though. The lowest level one came out with the best food. That's that's silly. <laughs> 162. I guess that will do. All right. Let me pick you up and just move you slightly away from here because there's a bunch of things back there. And poop. You can't. Oh, no, you did poop. Wait, where's your poop, though? Where'd your poop go? Tesla, what the hell did you poop? I can't see it. Is it stuck? Whoa. No poop. Okay, cool. Um, great. I came completely unprepared, by the way. I thought I had a big creature on me. Apparently, I did not. Uh, so yeah, this is great. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, let's, let's go and tame all these things that I completely forget everything that's important ever. All right, I wonder, what does that Bloodstalker poop? Is it just like normal poop? I don't even know. I don't think we ever asked these questions before. Like, what does a Bloodstalker poop? Oh my God, all right, let's see. Uh, What else do I have? Night Owl, what the hell? I mean, do they eat your poo? I'm kind of curious, actually. I feel like your poo would probably be very nutritious for them. Um, Yeah, you need to, you need to start eating some food here. We need to get you some food, but it can't be poop. All right, sweet. So, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we thought I had some freaking creatures on me. God damn, I thought I had spinos. I don't know why. I just grabbed everything out of out of the bench where, that I put it all into, and then I just, I don't, I just, I thought we had some stuff. And we have some stuff here. Um, hello. There you go. All right, there's some food, buddy. All right, do, do a math poo. Hey, there we go. Just took a lot more effort than was needed. Um, yeah, I went ahead and just tamed up a super low level Fiomia. Figured that would be an easier thing to do than to actually just struggle feeding it like whatever poop I can manage to get. So yeah, uh, we have a good amount of medium poop on us right here. Let's see. Need to find another dude. It's probably easier to use the snow owl actually. Even though I can't pick them up, uh, actually being able to spot them easier is definitely a little bit nicer. All right, so we made it back to Val, and we've got all of our snails here. Let me kind of just, like, spread them out just a little bit. I'm going to put another one over here. Um, I have a dino leash hidden on the inside of there with a medium range, which means that it basically just goes kind of outside of this whole area here. So hopefully that will keep them in this spot. If it doesn't, then whatever. Obviously, they can wander around, and usually they can't wander through that, but... I believe that if it if they're wandering right against the edge of it as I'm loading in the area, that might actually screw them over and uh, basically mean that, you know, they're going to go right out of it. And if that happens, then whatever, you know, maybe I can chuck some dino trackers on them, actually. That would probably be a good idea. 
So yeah, let me just get all these dudes on uh, wandering and also level up their food and give them just a couple cakes, I suppose. There we go. Uh, we got two more over here. We could actually put some hats on these dudes actually as well. Hmm, that could be fun. I kind of want top hats on them. Kind of want top hats. All right, let's see. Let's get you on wandering as well. This way we can just at least start up the production of all the Akatina paste, which is what they're going to make for me. Um, we got a couple more cakes, but it's fine. Let's see, let's do that. And then the dung beetles, let me get them out as well. I might just actually just chuck them down right here. I'm sure they're going to wander around themselves. Let's see. Boom. Three. And number four. Sweet. Pity we didn't get any cool event color ones. I'm actually okay with the event colors when it's on a creature that... You know, you, you can't breed. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, a lot of people always talking about me complaining about the event colors and whatnot. All right, let's see. Let's get all you guys on wandering here and just basically level weight. Uh, there we go. And there you go as well. Sweet. All right, so let me just close the store. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me just get over here. Oh, I meant to freaking grab some jars. All right, let me just pull for that then. Uh, jar. There we go. Let's, uh, let's go for maybe like just five of those for the moment. Boom. All right, sweet. So I've got some Kalian soup for the farmer, I think is the one that takes that, right? And then I've got the, uh, beer now for the gardener. I think that's what they are, right? The female is the gardener. The male is the farmer, I think. I might have it the opposite way. I don't even... Uh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. Okay. And then one more. We need to get some more thatch into here at some point. Um, I just basically got to go over to the redwoods at some point and hit one of those trees with my mining drill. It gives you like 20 billion. And it's amazing. All right. So now that we have that there, you're all powered up and you are powered up now as well. Um... We got to basically just start the production of the, what do you call it? The fertilizer. So let me, uh, we might need you powered as well. Yeah, probably going to need to get you powered. I think, what, what does it do again? I think you pick up the poop and you distribute the poop to him. He gives the poop to the, the little bins around the place and the dung beetles. And he also takes the fertilizer out of those and distributes them to the crop plots. And then... She empties out all the crop plots and basically holds it onto all that stuff and refrigerates them. Refrigerates them. So, yeah, we need to basically, we need to get that thing powered as well. Let me grab some propellant for her, or for him, even. All right, there you go, and enjoy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's see. Okay, from the ground, we'll just, we'll pick up all these poops. Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This thing now actually, I think it takes a certain amount of, it takes like, I think three medium poops and then turns that into a large poop or something like that. Um, we also want you to pick up the paste uh, and then that, and then, yeah, that's fine. Maybe the eggs as well, actually. And you're gonna grab all those things from the dung beetles and then the snails. Uh, okay, cool. So, do they get rid of the tender? There was like an animal tender, right? Yeah, I think they got rid of the tender. From S+. Plus. Yeah, it used to be like a little rabbit. And then I guess he basically just like took um, what that thing did. And then basically just shoved all the settings into this thing. So, let me get you chucked out. I need to get some uh, stem berries. I believe I have some inside the mammoth here. And we could basically just produce a crap ton of poop right now with that thing. Um, I don't have any normal berries right there. I do have some inside of the, the little beer barrels, which I guess I can grab at the moment. But right now, we could just hit these and get just a little bit of berries. I don't need too many. Just enough to kind of feed the, the pig so it doesn't starve. And there we go. Definitely going to need a better Fiomi at some point. But for the moment, this will do. I mean, they all just produce the poop like this anyway. You don't need a super high level. I just was kind of thinking maybe a high level might be good or something. I don't know. You know what? Fiomia mutations should probably happen. We got to do that at some point. All right, let's see. Are you doing your job then? You're picking up the poop, right? Okay, you're not. Are you... 
Are you gonna put the poop into things? I'm so confused. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Is he doing his job? You guys aren't weighed down. He's not freaking doing his job, piece of crap. What do I keep you around for? What do I pay you for? <laughs> I gave you propellant and I trusted you. All right, let's see. Uh, maybe start distributing it. Did, did I not, like, did I not turn that on? There we go. Is it going to do it then? Maybe it's going to take just a little bit. All right, well, just to kind of kick things off, I'm just going to grab some of this out and give it to the beetles manually. Oh, no, he did it. He did it himself. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just... Yeah, never mind. I guess I'll just drop the stuff on the ground and let him pick it back up. All right, cool. Um, So, yeah, we just got to, like, let some of this go. I will just... I'll, I'll come back when we actually have some progress and things are actually grown. I just want to at least show off this whole place once it's done. One thing I might actually do is I might add some floating glass just, like, above everything here. Just so we can get... Uh, the greenhouse effect on everything. So, you know, you won't be able to see it at all and it won't affect the build really at all. But um, it's going to be there and it's going to be hidden. All right. So as you can see, our garden is lush and full with greenery, except for this one right here for some reason. I don't know why this one's not getting fertilizer, but maybe I'll have to manually put it into here for some reason. I don't really understand. So yeah, uh, for some reason as well, the corn just keeps popping in and out of existence. So that's very strange. Maybe it's because there's a piece of corn in here right now. I'm really confused about that. I can't even access it. I'm trying. Okay, never mind then. All right, wait. Yeah, whatever. Maybe the corn only appears when it's in there. Like I said, where the hell's the hitbox on these things? Yeah, there's a piece of corn in there right now. And you can see that the stalks are empty on all the other ones here. Although there's corn in that one too. Okay, never mind. I don't know the rules. I don't. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, we've we've got just all of this stuff growing right now. I think that these plants are like a little bit smaller when they're inside of these seamless crop plots because the carrots definitely look really small. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but they look really, really small in this massive crop plot. Anyway, here's how much stuff we have going. So a good amount of stuff right now, actually. I mean... Everything's kind of like growing up at the same time right now, and uh, I don't know. I, I feel like this garden is going to be very, very useful for us. I mean, like having just unlimited supplies of berries, you know, I don't really have to do much in here. If I keep enough creatures nearby to fuel the poop, then everything's going to be fine. I just need to keep these snails fed with their cakes. Speaking of cakes, uh, totally going to need some more for them. Anyway, um, yeah, so, like, everything's, everything's going pretty good, and, uh, I, I really like it. So, I think we're gonna end off the video here. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. Really do appreciate it. It is kind of a little bit laggier now in this area, but that's fine. You know what? It's okay. It's not as bad as the Tower of Sin from the last series. Yeah, we don't, we don't talk about the Tower of Sin. That was, uh, that was like a lag fest. That was the definition of lag. Anyway, um, I'll, by the way, you're probably wondering with the X plants up there, I will at some point uh, maybe set those up to like just target anything just in case anything somehow spawns in this area. Uh, it's it, like those things will kill whatever might attack or whatever like that. So um, yeah, I think, we're, uh, I think we're all good to go and I will catch you in the next one.